This is lesson 15.6, and the focus is, how can you test generalizations? You have identified and described the properties of many geometric figures. Today you will be making and testing generalizations, or general statements, about geometric figures. Remember from reading that generalizations often use clue words such as all. So I want you to think about what statements can you make about all the students in our class. Some possibilities would be saying all the students are in the fifth grade or all the students will eat lunch today. Those would be generalizations. How can you test whether these statements are correct? If you wanted to test how many students um, were in fifth grade in the class, you could ask them. You could simply ask them to raise their hands if they are not in fifth grade. Same thing for whether or not they ate lunch or are going to eat lunch today. You could simply ask them to test these generalizations. Next, I want you to test whether the, this next statement, uh, whether it is correct or not. So please write this next statement in your notebook. Please pause and test this generalization. Please use pictures and properties in order to prove it correct or incorrect. Some of you may have done the following. You might have drawn a rectangle. And since a rectangle does not satisfy the properties of a square, you might determine that this statement is not correct because a rectangle is sometimes not a square. You may have also chosen to draw both a square and a rectangle. If you think about a square, since it does satisfy the properties of a rectangle, a square is also a rectangle. So that could prove the statement true. However, if you would also draw a rectangle next to it, you could determine that that is not a square. So the statement is not always true, and therefore it is incorrect. So is the statement correct for some examples? Yes, it can be correct for some examples, for example, the square. However, is the statement correct for all examples? And that answer, of course, would be no, which is why we would say this is an incorrect statement. The statement all rectangles are squares is a general statement because it refers to all rectangles. Another name for a general statement is a generalization. So, in this case, this generalization is incorrect. Generalizations can be incorrect or incorrect, but they should always be tested. The last thing I'd like you to do is to try to test one more generalization. Please write the following in your notebook. Here is the generalization that needs to be tested. All right triangles are scalene triangles. Remember to be careful with the clue word here, which is all. And please use pictures as well as what you know about the properties of right triangles and scalene triangles in order to prove this either correct or incorrect. Please bring your notes to class so that we can discuss this further.